Hello everybody, welcome back to uh, Let's Play Skyward Sword. And I'm Nintendo Coke Bear, and uh, we're in the same room as before, but this time I, I turned the time shift stone uh, back on, and you can see it's a lot more colorful in here. Less dusty, so that my sinuses don't get too grossed up, as they say. Why don't... Is, I, well, there's nothing over here! I think. Yeah, there's nothing over here! Yeah, I believe there's some creepy crawly stuff around the corner. Like that. Like this guy! What a creepy crawly dude. Yeah, you ain't no threat. That guy's just chillin', don't worry about him. I love the purple and yellow here. Complimentary colors, am I right? Here's some arrows I was talking about in the barrel. Arrows in the barrel. I believe those crew members were down in that little prison cell, so we're gonna go see if we can save them from their uh, untimely demise. Oh, uh, here's the boss door right next to the BMOs. We're gonna sneak up on this BMO. Yeah. Get out of here. Ah, I did it! I, I beat a BMO without taking any damage. Now that is skill. Victory backflip. Ah! Oh, jeez. Okay, get you get out of there, and... Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. That was my fault. But see, eventually, it just doesn't even matter. You can waggle your sword every which around. Ah, uh, there they are. They're so scared. You're a human, aren't you? So, how did you get in here? You came with the captain to save us? Well, I'm so happy. But we can't get out of here while that sparky thing blocks the exit. Yeah. Ellipsis. I almost forgot to mention it, but the engine room is right below this brig. Hmm, huh, I'm gonna have to go down to the engine room then, aren't I? There's a corridor from the engine room that connects the, to this brig. But to get through the engine room and to here, you need to activate the two power generators in the engine room. Okay. You will need to activate the power generators in two different locations. Right there and right there. Oh, that's easy enough. Easy enough for me. Hiccups. Really? Hiccups right now? Are you serious? You can see the lights work now and everything. It's so cool. What a cool idea for a dungeon. You can make those fans go super fast. Not that it makes any difference, but it is a nice detail. Oh, I didn't check over here yet. I'm gonna ignore you. Just kidding! Ha! Got you from behind! Didn't, 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 didn't see that coming, did you? Hit him so hard he clipped through the barrels. See what I mean? You don't, dude. You're never gonna run out of arrows in this game. Eerie golden color. That's the second of the, of, of of our golden skull collection. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, I yeah. See, you see this light here? The sunshine. That's your clue that you can hit the time shift stone from here if you're at a good angle. I believe. Yep, there it is. I had to do a 180 really quick. Bang. Yeah. What a clever little puzzle. See, it's all simple. I don't. I don't know. You could say that's a bad thing. Oh, there's the map. Hey, that wasn't even required. But it sure does help. Now we know exactly where everything is. We know precisely, we know, we know everything now, thanks to this map. Also that, that's also helpful. Man, you can just call this the convenience dungeon, you know what I'm saying? Those light bulbs are so old that they, that they rusted. Glass rusts in this universe. 
Or it's just so covered in dust that it looks like it's dusted. I don't know, whatever. Because it almost looks like a bell. I guess I should probably turn the time back on, right? Because we can't really do anything else with it off. I think. I don't know, I'm not 100% on that. Plus the music is cool, so... Yeah. That pile of quicksand used to be a carpet, how does that work? Oh, I can go through these. Where am I at now? Oh, I'm at one of the one of the two generators, I think. But 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 yeah. Double kill. Guys, I'm a voice actor, you guys. <laughs> just in case just in case you forgot. Okay, there's a cube. God, I'm such a I'm such a uh, pretentious little little bear, aren't I? Yep, push this cube onto this cube, this 2D cube, or square as it were, or panel. Why do I just keep saying as it were, like I'm so intelligent? Oh, there you, there, yeah, then you need the lifeboat, yeah, okay. Can I get the light, I, no way I can get the lifeboat from here, but yeah, that's, that's the idea. Or I can go through this ladder. Why you start over, music? What's your problem? Yeah, and then, yeah, I go down to underneath where those guys in the prison were. I, I remember this dungeon pretty well because I, I just did it on my Master's Quest file. So, yeah. Uh, this should come pretty naturally if I make a mistake, then... Whoops. Yeah, if I make a mistake, oopsie doops. Uh, like, where am I? <laughs> Like, this is pretty weird! You guys see that new Scooby-Doo movie? The, the guy who plays Shaggy barely even sounds like Shaggy. He, like, he does the Shaggy voice, but it doesn't... I mean, it's fine if, you, if they want to try something new, I'm just saying. It's not a perfect Shaggy impression. Oh yeah, there's a target where this fan is. I'm I'm dumb. Oh, I have to turn. Okay. Oh, I oh, okay. I know. I know. I gotta turn the time shift off. The fan will stop running, and then I can shoot the target. Easy. Yep. I'm I'm a bit forgetful sometimes. Sorry, I forgot our 15th anniversary, honey. It was an accident, you know, I got a lot on my mind recently, and, uh, you know, I mean, uh, just because I forgot that one thing, that doesn't make our love any less important to me, you know? I still, I still, I still wish you were here 20 years later, but I mean, you're, you're gone now, so there's not much I can do about it. Oh well. Yeah, 20 years later. What? Huh? Weird? You guys heard that uh, slam on my door, right? They must have just been messing with me. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Where was that? Oh, it's this door right next to it, duh. I don't know, because the mechanics could be anywhere! It could be anywhere! Yeah. I'm really good at the autism voice. <laughs> I'm really good at pretending I have autism. Dude, don't say that. What is that? Oh, yeah, that's the target. And you might find yourself in a shotgun shack. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. I, I got it. Yep. 
So then I gotta go all the way around. Oh wait, 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 wait. Is it a light? That's a light. Wow. Just thought, just thought I would appreciate that for a second, you know. It's pretty, pretty neat. We've only seen like 20 of them. Blah, 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 blah. Then this one should be unlocked, yeah? Yeah. Making progress! <laughs> you know? It's like a, it's like a Saturday Night Live, but a, a video game. Yeah. There, yep, yeah, this is a generator right here. Now, uh... Oh, I, I bet I gotta turn the... I gotta turn the generator. I gotta turn the time shift stone back on. It's a bit of annoying. It's a bit of annoying. Anyway, um, it's okay. I mean, who, do, who am I gonna complain? I just spent like the past ten minutes trying to remember what I was supposed to do. Yeah. glad that thing's so large. It's a big target. I don't need to really worry about if it's gonna land or not most of the time. Okay. So now this is open and I can activate this generator, but not without a fight! Ah, come here! <laughs> I didn't even, didn't even know what hit him, dude. Uh, okay. And this. There we go. Now I set up an obstacle course for ourselves in the basement. Master, I can confirm that, as mentioned by the crew, the engine room is now fully functional. But the corridor to the brig will not be passable until you activate the other power generator. I suggest hurrying to the second power generator. Uh, okay. Where was that again? Uh, that the goblin, dude. You didn't even know I was there and then bleh, dead. That's funny. Do you guys think I'm cute? <laughs> Just wondering. I got told a couple nights ago that I had a cute laugh, so... Now I have a high self-esteem. It's the little things in life, man, I tell ya. And roll! Yeah! Oh, that tuckered me out, as they say. I think I gotta get back to the lifeboat. And then I can come down to this room. Because that lifeboat and these windows are connected. Okay, so that's what I was thinking about. That, that looks like a door, but it's you can't open it. You open it through a switch. Okay, that makes sense. Just takes me a minute to think about these things. I hope I'm right. I'm not looking at a walkthrough this whole time, by the way, so that's gotta count for some sort of virtue, right? <laughs> and I hope that those windows are still unlocked. It looks like they are. I'm gonna be mad if they're not. Let's see. They are! Yay! Oh, but wait. Wait. No, go back in there. Cuz, uh... Well, let's kill these guys for fun, anyway. Yeah. And then blah 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 blah. <laughs> these guys! Ugh! I love sneaking up on them. Sometimes enemies don't have to be a challenge. Okay, anyway, uh... Blech. Or wait, do I have to raise it? Should I be raising this? Like a young child? Born from the womb? Let's see. Gotta wait for the cutscene to stop happening! Whoa, let me play the freaking game! Oh, uh, I'm good. Okay, here we go, yep. I figured it out. Because now that electric gate won't be there to stop me right here, and then I turn it back on with this thing to activate the. Oh, get out of here. Flat. 
It's my new name for bats. Flying rats. Get it? Oh, let's open this. Ah, uh, I'm not as energetic as I was half an hour ago. That's what thinking does to you. It, it makes you less... Uh... Uh... Okay, anyway. <laughs> How many times do you say anyway? Put this in. Insert arrow. Yes! I gotta keep my A game up, as they say. Shut up! Play the game! Open chest! Okay, now we got both things operating functionally. And Fee will tell me exactly what that is. Called it! What is this? 562? Master, I suggest hurrying to the brig through the engine room and freezing... Freeing the crew immediately. I prefer to freeze them like the Ice Age, you know? I like the hit movie, The Ice Age. I'm living the Ice Age. It's a good song. I love Joy Division. I should rewatch uh, Control soon. It's a good movie. The the Joy Division biopic. Everything's so good these days. You know, even when there's bad, there's still some aspect of good. I'm not even gonna waste my time with those freaks. You know. I go I'm going the wrong way though, aren't I? Wait, where are the stairs? The downstairs. Free up storage space? Oh man. Might have to cut this short and delete some things. Man, recording this stuff really takes a toll on your computer memory. Perhaps even the human psyche if you think about it. <gasps> but we're just about to go to the basement. Let's see how much this is, this is serious. How much memory do I actually have left? There's a bacoblin right there. Not even a gigabyte left. Well. Alright, I'm gonna save and then I'll, I'll come right back. I'll be, I'll be right back next week. <laughs> this is probably gonna be the end of an episode anyway, so hey, might as well be like, Hey, uh, next time when, let's play Skyward Sword, we're gonna go down to the basement and free those little robot dudes, okay? So, uh, see you next time, and I'm gonna free up some storage space. Thanks, Windows.